So this video here will continue the series on pharmaceutical calculations. Now this format's a little bit different than what I was using with the whiteboard. Um, if you watched the first three videos with the whiteboard, I'm sure you noticed that uh, the audio and the visual was a little bit out of sync at times. And hopefully I can do the videos this way. Um, it won't make it so difficult to watch. So in this video, we're going to talk about something that occurs quite a bit in compounding uh, when we're trying to uh, weigh small quantities of drugs or materials. In this example, we have a compound that requires 30 milligrams of aspirin. How are we going to weigh out the 30 milligrams of aspirin in order to make this compound? Well, the first question you might ask yourself is, well, we're just going to sprinkle 30 milligrams of aspirin powder um, on a scale and weigh it to 30 milligrams and add it to our compound. But the problem is there is a concept of scales when weighing out quantities of materials uh, something that is called the least weighable quantity. And what the least weighable quantity is, is it's the minimum quantity that I can have on a scale and still ensure the accuracy of that weight. Now the minimum or the least weighable quantity of a typical scale is 120 milligrams, which means that the least amount of powder that I can have on a scale at one time and still ensure the accuracy of that weight is 120 milligrams. So when we look at 30 milligrams, that certainly is less than our least weighable quantity of 120 milligrams. So if we try to set up a proportion okay as one way to look at how uh, you can solve this problem is the ultimate goal of what we need is 30 milligrams of aspirin okay but now 30 milligrams of aspirin is something that I can't weigh out by itself however if I combine this with an inert ingredient okay and weigh out a 120 milligram sample okay, of a mixture of that inert ingredient and aspirin okay, and out of that sample I want to contain 30 milligrams of aspirin okay, and this is how we do that we ultimately want to combine some inert ingredient and the inert ingredient that we typically use is lactose. It doesn't interact with you know other materials or medications and it's um, it's material that is uh, tolerable by most people. So ultimately what we want to do is we want to have Um, 120 milligrams of aspirin uh, in a plus drug uh, plus lactose. Okay, and out of this 120 milligram aspirin plus lactose, we want to contain 30 milligrams of aspirin. But remember, can't just create a mixture of lactose and aspirin by using 30 milligrams of aspirin the least we can use is 120 milligrams of aspirin Okay. so if we're trying to come up with this bulk powder you can say that contains aspirin and lactose how much lactose do I need to ensure that 120 milligram sample that contains both aspirin and lactose will contain 30 milligrams of aspirin. 
And so if we solve this proportion, okay, we come up with 480 milligrams of aspirin and lactose. Now, this concept may seem confusing, so let's try to solve this problem visually. Remember, the least amount of drug or any material that I can weigh out at one time is 120 milligrams. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weigh out 120 milligrams of aspirin. Okay. I'm also going to weigh out 360 milligrams of lactose. Now, how did I come up with 360? If we take a look at the bulk powder, which would be right here, that we want to create, this bulk powder has 400 milligrams of aspirin and lactose. We're going to take a sample of that that has 120 milligrams, or I'm sorry, 120 milligrams of aspirin will be in this bulk powder. So the difference between these two will be the weight of lactose. So if I take 480 milligrams of the bulk powder and subtract out the 120 milligrams of aspirin, I'm left with 360 milligrams of lactose. So what we're going to do now is we're going to combine these two. So I'm going to combine my aspirin and my lactose. And out of that I get 480 milligrams of aspirin and lactose. Now if you think about it, out of this bulk powder, 120 milligrams is aspirin. So one quarter of this powder Okay, the bulk powder okay, is aspirin. Now, remember the least weighable quantity is 120 milligrams. So if I take a 120 milligram sample, okay, if I just cut this, and I take out of that 120 milligram sample, okay, this sample, remember, if this mixture is homogeneous, will still contain one quarter aspirin. So if I take one quarter of my 120 milligram sample, I wind up with 30 milligrams of aspirin that I needed for my compound. Now there's a few terms in this process that you should be uh, familiar with. The idea of combining an active ingredient, in this case aspirin, with an inert ingredient, in this case lactose, forms what we call a triturition. Triturition. The sample that I take from a trituration, okay, this sample here is what we call an aliquot. Okay, so I make a trituration from aspirin and lactose and I pull out an aliquot sample. Okay. So this mathematically is the whole process that we're going through in order to be able to weigh out 30 milligrams of aspirin. Essentially what I'm going to do is weigh out 120 milligrams of aspirin, 360 of lactose, combine them together, blend them homogeneously, pull out 120 milligrams, again my least weighable quantity, and if we mix this up to where we have an homogeneous blend, we will wind up with 30 milligrams of aspirin in this aliquot and 90 milligrams of lactose. The difference will be lactose, 90 milligrams. 
So let's try let's try another example real quick, but hopefully this one will go by a little easier. Let's say that we want to um, let's say we want to weigh out 10 milligrams of a certain drug. Let's let's use aspirin again. How am I going to weigh out 10 milligrams of aspirin? Well again we use the same procedure. 10 milligrams of aspirin, you know, I can't weigh out. Instead what I can do is weigh out 120 milligrams of aspirin. Okay. I want to use 120 milligrams of aspirin and combine it with some amount of lactose to form a bulk powder. Okay, some amount of bulk powder. Out of that bulk powder, I want to take 120 milligram aliquot of aspirin plus lactose. That will ensure that I have a 10 milligram content of aspirin in that 120 milligram aliquot. So what's the total amount of bulk powder that I need? This would be my bulk powder. Well if we solve this proportion, okay, you wind up with 1,440 milligrams of an aspirin and lactose powder. If we take the difference of these two, 144 milligrams of my bulk powder and subtract out 120 milligrams of aspirin, I wind up with 1,320 milligrams of lactose. So if I combine 120 milligrams of aspirin with 1,320 milligrams of lactose, and I take out a 120 milligram aliquot, there will be 10 milligrams of aspirin in the aliquot, which is what I needed for the compound. I think if you practice a few more examples, uh, you'll kind of get the hang of this. It is a little bit confusing at first. Um, because, you know, when we weigh quantities out, we generally think that, oh, we can just put it on a scale, but if the quantity winds up being less than 120 milligrams, we have to first form a trituration, and then we have to take an aliquot from that, and then that aliquot hopefully will contain uh, the amount of drug uh, that we need.